morning. So, I'm about to head right now to get my hair done. It is Wednesday morning. Um, I'm off today, obviously. I have my nap queen shirt on and just some workout leggings, basically, and my tennis shoes. I've got a couple errands to run after this um, that aren't really errands, only one is. I have to go get litter for my cat. Um, other than that, I'm gonna stop by a little store that we have, um, it's like a thrift store. I knew um, not, not having contacts in was not a good idea because I can't see anything. Here's the process. Chandler, are you excited? Yes, I'm so excited. I'm excited too. Holy blonde, Batman. So this is what we ended with. Um, this is obviously not in direct sunlight, but um, it's really blonde. I haven't had it this light in years. So I'm done with all my errands now. Um, I'll show you guys what I got when I got home. I'm starving, so I'm in like kind of getting to be a foul mood. So I'm trying to decide right now do I want to stop and get something or just make something at the house. My my wallet says make something at the house, so I think I'm going to try to do that if I can stand being hungry that long because I'm a baby when I'm hungry. I'm home. I had a little pizza quesadilla um, for lunch. I'm still playing with my hair a whole lot. Um, and yeah. I'm about to switch out my purse, so I was going to show you guys the bags that I just bought. The little, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me do something with my hair and then we can focus on other things. So the place that I went today had um, their bags half off. So I got this really big Weekender tote that's from Target, I think, originally. Um, and I've had my eye on it forever. It is so stinking cute. It's navy blue and white, and then it's got brown on the bottom and on the sides. It looks so nautical to me that I was like, this is perfect for summer trips this year. Um, really any time, but I just thought that would be really pretty. This was the purse. On camera for some reason right now it looks green, like a mint green, but it's gray. It's so cute. I love the little tassels on it and everything. It's huge also, um, and this is also from Marona at Target. Look at how much this normally is. $50 almost. It's crazy to me. I got this. My reasoning for this, this is something else that I think is normally at Target. Um, probably in the dollar section, I think. I'm gonna try to put all of my palettes in here and see if that helps organize my vanity any better. I'm like on this organization for my vanity craze right now for some reason. Like every day I'm looking on Pinterest for new ideas about how to make it look a little better. And this was one that I saw where you just put your palettes in a little wire basket. So I'm gonna do that and clean up a little bit I think right now after I switch my purse out. And yeah, that is right now. Dustin has an event today so he's gonna be I'm um, working I think until 11 or so tonight so he's got a long day today and then I'll see him again on Saturday probably so I hope you guys this, this day is going good so far I'm so happy to have my air conditioning fixed in my car I always forget things like that they're that seriously luxuries like even having a car is such a luxury and having air conditioning is so wonderful so makes me feel very blessed to have all that I do how's your day been like Gabby Oh, Gabby, I got you treats today, babe. I forgot. <gasps> Mama got her treats. Good ones, too. These are stinky, Gabby. Whew, real bad. They smell yummies. Sit. Good girl. Stop biting the bag. I just gave you like a hundred of these. Are you kidding? So this is the vanity before. This is how I have my palettes organized right now. This is all the trash I haven't thrown away. And then I have my brushes, some things over here. So I'm gonna try to readjust a few things and then put my basket here and see what that does for me. Slowly it's coming along. It's taking so long because I am unnecessarily cleaning out like everything so this is one of my drawers I just reorganized it has lip stuff has a couple powders and then right here I'm trying to decide what I need to put there 
mascaras and eyeliners and then lip liners and my color pop colors over there so yeah it's taking forever now I get to start this drawer holy moly this is concealer foundations and powders and setting sprays <laughs> and it has gotten out of control and here is after so what I actually ended up doing was putting a couple of the palettes that I couldn't fit in the little basket that I got um, down here and then I have all of my foundations then I have my BB creams and CC creams and then a um, this is the fit me uh, foundation stick and then I have all of my concealers uh, these are more like my liquidy well I guess they're all liquid I don't know I had tried to keep everything together that had a match and so over here are all like my LA um, girl pro and then I have a couple from makeup forever and then I also have a CC cream in there and then my setting sprays are still at home right there and then I just put my um, my hula and then my Too Faced bronzer and everything like that over here so I think that drawer is done these don't look super great but I'm really doing the best I can with the money that I have <laughs> so okay we're looking pretty good over here I still have to go and wash all of my beauty blenders and all of my brushes tonight but right now we're looking pretty good so I'm just picking my room a little bit now I just ordered a veggie pizza that I'm so excited about for dinner the TV is loud. I'm gonna do a little workout, plan some meals for this week. Um, yeah, my day's looking pretty good right now. My bed is not a wreck. Do you guys clean that way? You clean one thing off and then it goes somewhere else magically. So Dustin's um, brother's first gift just came. It came with a little sticker, which is super cute. Here it is. So this is all that's on the front, is just the little pink part. And then the back has the same label just all across it. So that's exciting. First gift down. Yes. So this has tomato, um, banana peppers, which are my favorite thing ever. Feta, regular, I guess, whatever cheese they put on here, mozzarella, and spinach. And I think that's all. Oh, and sun-dried tomatoes, maybe? Mm, looks so good. My mouth's watering. So this is a purifying black charcoal mask. I've never tried this one before. I think this is the brand on it. Um, I got this in a Walmart beauty box, but it's a sheet mask. So I'm pretty excited to try this one. We're going to see how well or terrible this goes. I don't know. pretty good so I don't know why I did that right now because when it was on for about 10 minutes I thought oh I haven't worked out yet so right now I'm going to head um, I think I'm going to do some jumping rope I almost said jacks that's not what I meant so I think I'm going to do jumping rope tonight that was what I immediately saw different in my stomach doing that more than anything else so I keep trying to get back into that and keep talking myself out of it, but really, I just need to do it. So I'm gonna go try that for a little while. I never do more than like two minutes to start with because I'm so awful at it. It takes me like five and a half minutes to do two of them. So let's go see what damage I can do. bedtime. It's a little bit before probably. I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine um, and then I'm going to do a devotion because I actually forgot to do it this morning. Completely forgot about it until I was getting my hair done and then I was like, 
did not do that this morning. So, I was going to show you guys what I've been doing for my skin recently. I've been trying out some of the Benefit um, skincare stuff. So, this is the Moisture Prep Toning Lotion. Um, all of the packaging on this is super cute, but this is the first thing that I start with. So, I've already washed my face with my Purity um, Philosophy cleanser and then I just get a little bit of this in my hand sometimes I do it on a cotton ball but really I think that I waste more if I do it that way so I get a little bit and I just put this all over so this just does exactly what it says and preps your skin for everything else you're gonna put on it the next thing that I do is take the instant comeback serum and I do the same thing I just put a little bit of it in my hand and I've been looking for a really good serum to try next, and I like this one a really good bit. I've been doing all this skincare stuff for a little while now, so my skin's looking pretty good. So while I let that sit in for a second, I use the It's Potence Eye Cream from Benefit as well. And then for the moisturizer for the rest of my face after this, I kind of alternate using um, one that's for, well, I guess it's not for acne, it just has salicylic acid in it, um, and I try to use that one at night and then my Benefit one in the morning so that my skin can kind of be repairing itself overnight. So the Benefit moisturizer is the triple performing, um, and it comes in a glass bottle that looks like this. That's usually what I do in the morning. So the one that I do at night, this is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And like I said, it has uh, salicylic acid in it and something else I thought that was really good in this one. But anyways, I used this a really long time ago and I loved it and I had forgotten kind of about it until I went to CVS a few weeks ago and I was like, why did I stop using that? Because this one, um, unlike a lot of other ones, does not dry out my skin. I typically have pretty oily skin, but around my nose where I have all my blackheads at, if I try to do any treatments there, um, and even if it just has a little bit of that salicylic acid in it, um, it dries it out pretty bad. And this is pretty much the only thing I can use that does not do that. What are my glasses doing? Um, I'm sorry that today was not more eventful. Um, this is pretty much everyday life. And today I've had kind of a headache or been feeling weird or something all day long. Um, so I've kind of been laying low a little bit. I hopefully will see you guys tomorrow. I hope that you're having a good week so far and that these vlogs have been fun to watch my boring life. You guys say that you like to watch these because I'm so like abnormal from other vlogs because I have no life. And you're like, I love that. It's like me. And I'm like, I okay. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.